think we can tell what the secret is. Um, I mean, it's obvious from the video that he's highly intelligent, but also, unlike me, I mean, I was an easy target, wasn't really cool, you know, college and stuff, so got bullied a lot. I don't think I can see him getting bullied that much. Big bloke, big bloke. He's placid, but I'm. Um, I would say that if anyone did push him, he could turn quite nasty if he wanted to. As for, as for just covering up, I spent my life trying to cover up, trying to do the eye contact thing and trying to fit into an NT world. I have to say it's impossible. I thought I perfected eye contact until someone told me the other day that I made eye contact but my facial expressions were wrong so basically I wasn't really in sync with them so they could tell immediately something was wrong so what's the point to me there's no point I think you've got to be yourself people in wheelchairs don't try and walk be yourself this is the 21st century and it's time that people had to accept all kinds of disabilities people in wheelchairs don't pretend they can walk down syndrome children don't pretend that they look you know that they look well I'm not saying going to say normal but like other people I really don't see why we should pretend to be something we're not it's their problem if you get there should be lobbies there should be people to stop this bully if you call someone gay at college you're going to get a serious beating you know leave off the gay community or you're going to get expelled from college but it seems okay to call people retard, spastic, mongol, all those nasty words because that's all part of it you know you gotta take the rough with the smooth you know you gotta be tough you gotta be hard but um, try it try, try going into college if you're a student try going up to somebody and calling them gay and see where it gets you or call or if it's a black student calling them the n-word or whatever but it's okay to have a go at autistics yeah you know because it's all right to have a go at them why well, be tired you have a go at the political stereotype yeah eye contact it doesn't come easy look in between the eyes look at the teeth look at you know look around the face look slightly to the side whatever but you've still got this expression when you're talking to them you know and they don't know whether you're listening or not so they're going to be thinking hmm yeah making eye contact but something's not right something makes him look like Daytroff or Spock so why bother just tell him you're AS that's what I do if I go to meet somebody I tell them before I am Asperger's and this is how I will react when I'm looking at you and if they don't want to meet after hearing that then that's their problem you don't want to really know them anyway if they don't want to understand I prefer to be honest with people to tell them I've got Asperger's and if they want to know about it I will tell them from my point of view how AS affects me and some of them react negatively and say oh god everybody does that some people don't look at you because they're shy etc so you have to explain it to them you have to explain it to the NT and say look I don't look at people because I can't look at people not because I'm shy and I'm, I don't really want to look at them because I'm a bit nervous of them but simply because eye contact doesn't come easy to me it's difficult to explain it to people unless they actually bother to read up and I haven't got the time or the patience anymore to explain to people you know short of having a big t-shirt that says I'm Asperger's syndrome and this is what it is or carrying a bloody card around like some people have suggested I think that just draws attention to it and gets you targeted even more so if you're meeting somebody the golden rule in my opinion is to tell them that you're AS tell them what you might do tell them how you might react tell them about the sort of places that you avoid tell them and if they don't want to meet you if they can't understand and say I want to meet you in a disco then fob them off and find someone who will meet you in a quiet place or whatever 
the internet is full of people you don't have to have second best you can find people with similar traits you can find people who are on the same wavelength as you or at least empathize you do not have to go with plebs male or female you do not have to meet plebs you do not have to pull up with bullying there's a block button use it I've been in a chat room and been really bullied but I learned that the best form was just to walk away and leave the chat room and that's it and they still talk about me and Magni so funny I only heard the other day they were saying oh hey Magni and Chima are engaged we're not at all isn't it great to be popular eh even though we haven't been in that room for a long time they're still finding things to talk about and it's not even the truth that's how stupid they are so you know no I wouldn't bother I wouldn't bother trying to you know I mean I would guess that this the man in this video is good at sport at least or something I mean if you're good at sport people are very forgiving of your traits if you've got AS but you're good at kicking a football you'd be amazed how many friends would be okay with you how many girls would still want to hang around with you because you're good at sport do you know oh it's not it doesn't matter if he's eccentric as long as he can kick a football or drop kick something you know it's fine as long as he can do the job and score the winning goal do you know what I mean amazing I mean how many footballers do you come across that really are intelligent there's very few a lot of them are just like you know oh, well you know he said yeah yeah and it's their wives that normally speak for them who are normally absolutely gorgeous you know figures to die for if you know everything but normally the wives the footballers wives are the intelligent ones well with the with the you know exception of a few <laughs> but if you're an average Aspie you got intelligence but you don't but you're not good at sport then you're immediately going to get bullied if I'd have gone into college, do my B-Tech, been damn good at sports, you know, I wouldn't have got half the crap. Because I'd been hanging around with people, with gangs of people, and so people wouldn't have dared. Normally, you know, they'd have said, oh my God, we better not mess with him, because he's in the team. I mean, if we give him a kick in, you know, who's going to score that goal? See what I mean? Or if we give him a kick in, the rest of them will give me a kick in, you know, for doing it so no could be bitter I look at loads of Asperger's books and I think I wish I'd have written something I wish I'd have jumped on the bandwagon when it was time like in 2003 loads of books around met Sarah in 1998 could have told a massive story on how AS was instead this other couple have written a book a name met in 2003 yeah could be bitter about it good luck to them good luck to them I might write one one day I enjoy doing my YouTube videos and I get good responses and I think my god you know yeah you get the chavs who say oh you shut up you're sad or retard and all that we have to feel sorry for them we have to sort of like let them have their dummy out the mouth to have their say now and again but apart from that I've had some very good comments and some honours and things like that so I'm very pleased very pleased that I got the amount of comments I did and I bet he's pleased that he's got